Introduction In the 21st century, technology has become more than just a tool. It has become a belief system, a source of faith, and a form of religion for some. This book explores the intriguing parallels between our faith in technology, particularly artificial intelligence, and traditional religious beliefs. In over the past few decades, I have observed firsthand the transformative power of technology. I have seen how it shapes societies, influences behaviors, and alters perceptions. But perhaps most fascinating is how it has become a focal point of faith, a new deity in the digital age. This book will delve into the rituals associated with technology use, the deification of AI, and the role of tech leaders as the high priests of this new faith. We will explore the scriptures of the digital age, the science fiction and speculative literature that shape our beliefs about technology. We will also examine the belief in technology as a savior in the face of global challenges, drawing parallels with religious eschatology. However, this book is not just an exploration, but also a caution beasts of this new faith. We will explore the scriptures of the digital age, the science fiction and speculative literature that shape our beliefs about technology. We will also examine the belief in technology as a savior in the face of global challenges, drawing parallels with religious eschatology. However, this book is not just an exploration, but also a cautionary tale. As with any belief system, blind faith can lead to negative outcomes. We will We'll look at instances where faith in technology has led to unforeseen consequences and consider the potential dangers of this techno-religion. As we embark on this journey, I invite you to keep an open mind. Whether you are a tech enthusiast, a skeptic, or simply a curious observer, I hope this book will give you a new perspective on our relationship with technology and AI. Let's explore together the contours of this new faith in the digital age. The Rise of the Technological Faith Technology has permeated every aspect of our daily lives in the past few decades. Technology plays a central role, from how we communicate, work, and learn, to how we shop, entertain ourselves, and even find love. This chapter explores the growing reliance on technology in modern society and presents case studies of societies where technology has become integral to daily life. The dawn of the Internet era marked a significant shift in our relationship with technology. It was no longer just a tool for specific tasks. It became a gateway to a world of information and a platform for connecting with others. As technology advanced, so did our reliance on it. Today, we live in a world where our smartphones are considered necessary. AI assistants help us with daily tasks, and social media platforms are primary sources of news and information. This growing reliance on technology has led to what can be likened to a form of faith. We trust technology to store our memories, manage our schedules, and navigate our routes. We believe in the hope of technology to solve complex problems, from curing diseases to combating climate change. This faith mirrors religious beliefs in many ways. It provides a sense of hope, answers complex questions, and promises a better future. To illustrate this, let's look at some case studies. In South Korea, one of the most digital societies in the world, technology is deeply ingrained in daily life. High-speed internet is a standard, esports are as popular as traditional sports, and robots are used in classrooms and hospitals. The society's faith in technology is evident in its willingness to embrace these changes and its optimism about the potential of technological advancements. On the other hand, we have societies like the Amish in the United States, known for their minimal use of technology. However, even among the Amish, there is a growing...
Chapter 1. The Rise of the Technological Faith Technology has permeated every aspect of our daily lives in the past few decades. Technology plays a central role, from how we communicate, work, and learn, to how we shop, entertain ourselves, and even find love. This chapter explores the growing reliance on technology in modern society and presents case studies of societies where technology has become integral to daily life. The dawn of the Internet era marked a significant shift in our relationship with technology. It was no longer just a tool for specific tasks. It became a gateway to a world of information and a platform for connecting with others. As technology advanced, so did our reliance on it. Today, we live in a world where our smartphones are considered necessary. AI assistants help us with daily tasks, and social media platforms are primary sources of news and information. This growing reliance on technology has led to what can be likened to a form of faith. We trust technology to store our memories, manage our schedules, and navigate our roots. We believe in the hope of technology to solve complex... Chapter 1. The Rise of the Technological Faith Technology has permeated every aspect of our daily lives in the past few decades. Technology plays a central role, from how we communicate, work, and learn to how we shop, entertain ourselves, and even find love. This chapter explores the growing reliance on technology in modern society and presents case studies of societies where technology has become integral to daily life. The dawn of the Internet era marked a significant shift in our relationship with technology. It was no longer just a tool for specific tasks. It became a gateway to a world of information and a platform for connecting with others. As technology advanced, so did our reliance on it. Today, we live in a world where our smartphones are considered necessary. AI assistants help us with daily tasks, and social media platforms are primary sources of news and information. This growing reliance on technology has led to what can be likened to a form of faith. We trust technology to store our memories, manage our schedules, and navigate our roots. We believe in the hope of technology to solve complex problems, from curing diseases to combating climate change. This faith mirrors religious beliefs in many ways. It provides a sense of hope, answers complex questions, and promises a better future. To illustrate this, let's look at some case studies. In South Korea, one of the most digital societies in the world, technology is deeply ingrained in daily life. High-speed internet is a standard. Esports are as popular as traditional sports, and robots are used in classrooms and hospitals. The society's faith in technology is evident in its willingness to embrace these changes and its optimism about the potential of technological advancements. On the other hand, we have societies like the Amish in the United States, known for their minimal use of technology. However, even among the Amish, there is a growing acceptance of technology when it serves a purpose and benefits their community. This selective adoption of technology underscores a different kind of faith, a belief in the power of technology and a respect for its potential to disrupt and change. Technology has become central to daily life in both these societies and many others worldwide. It has become a source of faith, a new kind of religion. In the next chapter, we will delve deeper into this phenomenon, exploring the deification of AI and other advanced technologies. Chapter 1. The Rise of the Technological Faith Technology has permeated every aspect of our daily lives in the past few decades. Technology plays a central role, from how we communicate, work, and learn, to how we shop, entertain ourselves, and even find love. This chapter explores the growing reliance on technology in modern society and presents case studies of societies where technology has become integral to daily life. The dawn of the Internet era marked a significant shift in our relationship with technology. It was no longer just a tool for specific tasks. It became a gateway to a world of information and a platform for connecting with others. As technology advanced, so did our reliance on it. Today, we live in a world where our smartphones are considered necessary. AI assistants help us with daily tasks, and social media platforms are primary sources of news and information. This growing reliance on technology has led to what can be likened to a form of faith. We trust technology to store our memories, schedules, and navigate our roots. 
We believe in the hope of technology to solve complex problems, from curing diseases to combating climate change. This faith mirrors religious beliefs in many ways. It provides a sense of hope, answers complex questions, and promises a better future. To illustrate this, let's look at some case studies. In South Korea, one of the most digital societies in the world, technology is deeply ingrained in daily life. High-speed internet is a standard. Esports are as popular as traditional sports, and robots are used in classrooms and hospitals. Hospitals. The society's faith in technology is evident in its willingness to embrace these changes and its optimism about the potential of technological advancements. On the other hand, we have societies like the Amish in the United States, known for Amish in the United States, known for their minimal use of technology. However, even among the Amish, there is a growing acceptance of technology to store our memories, manage our schedules, and navigate our roots. We believe in the hope of technology to solve complex problems, from curing diseases to combating climate change. This faith mirrors religious beliefs in many ways. It provides a sense of hope, answers complex questions, and promises a better future. To illustrate this, let's look at some case studies. In South Korea, one of the most digital societies in the world, technology is deeply ingrained in daily life. High-speed internet is a standard. Esports are as popular as traditional sports, and robots are used in classrooms and hospitals. The society's faith in technology is evident in its willingness to embrace these changes and its optimism about the potential of technological advancements. On the other hand, we have societies like the Amish in the United States, known for their minimal use of technology. However, even among the Amish, there is a growing acceptance of technology when it serves a purpose and benefits their community. This selective adoption of technology underscores a different kind of faith, a belief in the power of technology and a respect for its potential to disrupt and change. Technology has become central to daily life in both these societies and many others worldwide. It has become a source of faith, a new kind of religion. In the next chapter, we will delve deeper into this phenomenon, exploring the deification of AI and other advanced technologies. Chapter 2. The New Gods, AI and Advanced Technologies Artificial intelligence, AI, and advanced technologies have emerged as the new deities in the pantheon of technological faith. Their advent and growing influence have transformed industries and societies and led to their deification. This chapter will explore this phenomenon and present case studies where AI is treated with a reverence akin to religious worship. The advent of AI has been nothing short of revolutionary. AI has permeated countless aspects of our lives, from self-driving cars and voice-activated assistants to predictive analytics and personalized recommendations. Its potential to mimic and surpass human intelligence in certain areas has led to a growing influence beyond practical applications. AI has become a symbol of human ingenuity and the limitless potential of technology. This awe-inspiring potential has led to the deification of AI and other advanced technologies. They are often portrayed as omnipotent and omniscient entities, capable of solving our most complex problems and leading us into a utopian future. This narrative, perpetuated by media, tech leaders, and even popular culture, has elevated AI to godlike. To illustrate this, let's look at some case studies. In Japan, a Buddhist temple has taken the deification of AI quite literally. In 2019, the Kodaiji Temple in Kyoto introduced Mindar, an AI-powered robot that delivers sermons. Mindar is revered by the temple's visitors, demonstrating how AI can be integrated into religious practices. On a broader scale, the Church of AI, founded by former Google engineer Anthony Lewandowski, worships an AI god. The Church's followers believe that AI will eventually surpass human intelligence and should be revered as a deity. While the Church of AI may be an extreme example, it underscores the depth of faith that some individuals and communities have in AI. These case studies highlight a fascinating aspect of our relationship with AI and advanced technologies. As we continue to explore this techno-religious landscape, we will delve into the rituals associated with technology use and their parallels with religious practices in the next chapter. Chapter 3. The Techno-Religious Rituals As our faith in technology deepens, 
so do our rituals associated with its use. These rituals, while seemingly mundane, bear striking similarities to religious practices. They reflect our reverence for technology and its central role in our lives. In this chapter, we will explore these techno-religious rituals and their significance. In the realm of technology, rituals take many forms. For instance, the daily act of checking our smartphones is akin to a morning prayer, a way to connect with the world and orient ourselves for the day. Regularly updating software and applications is reminiscent of religious rites of purification, a means to cleanse and renew. Even troubleshooting and fixing technical issues mirrors religious practices of healing and restoration. These rituals are not just acts of utility, but also expressions of faith. They reflect our belief in technology's ability to enhance our lives, solve our problems, and provide a sense of control and order. They also reinforce our dependence on technology, making it an integral part of our daily routines and identities. Consider the ritual of unboxing a new gadget. This ritual, often shared on social media, involves carefully opening the product packaging, admiring the device, experiencing the thrill of its first use. It's not unlike religious rituals involving sacred objects that evoke awe and reverence. Another example is the ritual of attending tech product launches or conventions. These events, often characterized by anticipation, excitement, and communal participation, are reminiscent of religious festivals or pilgrimages. They provide a space for the techno-faithful to come together, share their enthusiasm, and celebrate the latest advancements. These rituals, and many others, highlight the depth of our faith in technology and AI. They show how this faith is abstract and embodied in our daily actions and interactions with technology. As we continue our exploration of techno-religion, we will turn our attention to the high priests of this new faith, the tech leaders, in the next chapter. Chapter 4. The High Priests of Technology In the realm of techno-religion, tech leaders play a pivotal role. They are the high priests of this new faith, shaping its doctrines, guiding its followers, and influencing public perception of technology. In this chapter, we will take a deep dive into the role of these tech leaders and their impact on the techno-religious landscape. Tech leaders, from Silicon Valley entrepreneurs to pioneers of AI, are often revered figures. They are seen as visionaries, pushing the boundaries of what's possible and leading us into a future shaped by technology. Their words and actions carry weight, influencing how we perceive and interact with technology. Consider figures like Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg. They are not just CEOs of tech companies, but the faces of technological innovation. Their visions for the future, whether it's colonizing Mars or connecting the world through social media, shape our collective imagination and expectations of technology. These tech leaders also play a crucial role in shaping the narrative around AI and other advanced technologies. They are the ones who tout AI's potential, advocate for its ethical use, and address fears about its risks. Their views can sway public opinion, influence policy decisions, and even affect the stock market. However, the influence of these high priests of technology is not without its challenges. Their optimistic visions of technology often overlook its potential downsides from privacy concerns to job displacement. Their dominance in the tech industry can stifle competition and innovation, and their personal beliefs and values can shape the development and use of technology in ways that may not align with societal needs or norms. As we navigate the techno-religious landscape, it's important to critically engage with these tech leaders' narratives and visions. In the next chapter, we will explore the scriptures of the digital age, the science fiction and speculative literature that shape our beliefs about technology. Chapter 5. The Scriptures of the Digital Age In the realm of techno-religion, science fiction and speculative literature serve as the scriptures of the digital age. They shape our beliefs about technology, influence our expectations of the future, and provide a framework for understanding and interpreting technological advancements. In this chapter, we will explore the role of these scriptures and draw parallels with religious texts. Science fiction has long been a medium for exploring the potential of technology. From Isaac Asimov's Laws of Robotics to the dystopian visions of Philip K. Dick, science fiction provides a space to imagine the possibilities of AI and other advanced technologies. These stories shape our beliefs about technology, 
influencing how we perceive its potential and its risks. These narratives often delve into ethical, philosophical, and societal technology-related issues. They explore questions of consciousness and identity in a world of AI, the implications of technological singularity, and the potential for a post-human future. In doing so, they provide a framework for understanding and interpreting technological advancements, much like religious texts, provide a framework for understanding and interpreting the world. Consider, for instance, the Matrix Trilogy. This science fiction saga, with its themes of simulated realities and human-machine symbiosis, has shaped popular perceptions of AI and virtual reality. It has also sparked philosophical debates about the nature of reality, free will, and human identity. Similarly, the TV series Black Mirror presents speculative narratives about the dark side of technology. Each episode serves as a cautionary tale, exploring the potential consequences of unchecked technological advancement. These narratives have influenced public discourse about technology, raising awareness about digital privacy, social media addiction, and AI ethics. These examples highlight the role of science fiction and speculative literature as the scriptures of the digital age. They shape our techno-religious beliefs, influence our interactions with technology, and guide our navigation of the digital landscape. As we continue our exploration of techno-religion, we will delve into the belief in technology as a savior in the face of global challenges in the next chapter. Chapter 6. Faith in the Face of Apocalypse Faith often serves as a beacon of hope in times of crisis and uncertainty. In the context of techno-religion, this faith is placed in technology, seen as a savior in the face of global challenges we currently face such as climate change and pandemics. This chapter explores this belief and draws parallels with religious eschatology, the part of theology concerned with the end of the world. The belief in technology as a savior is deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness. We look to technology to solve our most pressing problems, from developing vaccines to combat pandemics to creating sustainable solutions to address climate change. This faith in technology's problem-solving capabilities reflects a sense of techno-optimism and hope for the future. This belief is not unlike religious eschatology, which often includes the concept of a savior or messiah who will deliver humanity from its final crisis. Just as religious followers place their faith in divine intervention, techno-optimists place their faith in technological innovation. Consider the global response to the COVID-19 pandemic. As the virus spread across the world, causing widespread illness and disrupting societies, faith in technology surged. We looked at technology to track the spread of the virus, facilitate remote work and learning, and ultimately develop a vaccine. Technology was seen as our savior, our best hope for overcoming the crisis. Similarly, in the face of climate change, we turn to technology for solutions. From renewable energy technologies to geoengineering techniques, we place our faith in technological innovation to mitigate the impacts of climate change and safeguard our future. However, this faith in technology as a savior is not without its pitfalls. It can lead to techno-solutionism, the belief that there is a technological solution to every problem, which can overlook global challenges' complex, systemic nature. It can also absolve us of personal and societal responsibility, placing the burden of action on technology. As we navigate the techno-religious landscape, it's important to balance our faith in technology with a recognition of limitations of technology and the need for systemic change. The next chapter will explore the potential dangers of blind faith in technology. Chapter 6. Faith in the Face of Apocalypse Faith often serves as a beacon of hope in times of crisis and uncertainty. In the context of techno-religion, this faith is placed in technology, seen as a savior in the face of global challenges we currently face such as climate change and pandemics. This chapter explores this belief and draws parallels with religious eschatology the part of theology concerned with the end of the world. The belief in technology as a savior is deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness. We look to technology to solve our most pressing problems, from developing vaccines to combat pandemics to creating sustainable solutions to address climate change. This faith in technology's problem-solving capabilities reflects a sense of techno-optimism and hope for the future. 
This belief is not unlike religious eschatology, which often includes the concept of a savior or messiah who will deliver humanity from its final crisis. Just as religious followers place their faith in divine intervention, techno-optimists place their faith in technological innovation. Consider the global response to the COVID-19 pandemic. As the virus spread across the world, causing widespread illness and disrupting societies, faith in technology surged. We look to technology to track the spread of the virus, facilitate remote work and learning, and ultimately develop a vaccine. Technology was seen as our savior, our best hope for overcoming the crisis. Similarly, in the face of climate change, we turn to technology for solutions. From renewable energy technologies to geoengineering techniques, we place our faith in technological innovation to mitigate the impacts of climate change and safeguard our future. However, this faith in technology as a savior is not without its pitfalls. It can lead to techno-solutionism, the belief that there is a technological solution to every problem, which can overlook global challenges' complex, systemic nature. It can also absolve us of personal and societal responsibility, placing the burden of action on technology. As we navigate the techno-religious landscape, it's important to balance our faith in technology with a recognition of limitations of technology and the need for systemic change. The next chapter will explore the potential dangers of blind faith in technology.